Hello, this is Kamal Salim with Color Williams in Western Florida. Today we're going to be talking about my transactions in eAdge and how to get started on my transactions. For additional training videos, please visit kamalsalim.com forward slash training. Okay, let's get started. We're going to go to kw.com. We're going to sign in. This should take us to the KW environment, the KW website. We are keeping all the buttons that KW had with all the trainings and all the features. And they've included Edge under those buttons. These five buttons are for Edge, whether it is Edge or Edge Pro. These buttons here are the same. They will be only on the home page. If you do go to marketing or coaching or any other page, these will disappear. But these will always be here. Okay. Now, if you have not signed up for my transactions yet, this dollar sign will be grayed out and you will have a blue box here. And that blue box will say, start your e-transaction setup. You click on it. It's going to take you a page that says, join now. Please do. Now it's going to ask you a few basic questions. Uh, your name, your last name, your email, your zip code. The zip code is for your market center zip code. Be sure to include that zip code because the system is going to search for your market center by that zip code, okay? It's also going to ask you for a password. It's going to ask for your phone number, include your cell number. And also it's going to ask for your MLS ID. The MLS ID is the number that you use to access your MLS. Simple. Also it's going to ask for your brokerage. That is your market center name. And now, if you start typing the name, it should come up with a list close by the zip code that you just entered. You click on it and you're done. That's all it's going to ask for. You're going to agree to the terms and conditions and you are in. You are now part of my transaction in eEdge. Now, once you are signed uh, in and you have this green dollar sign, there's three ways to access my transaction, by the way. This button here, you start a new transaction, you go in. This button is the same, so you show options. It's going to show you the same options here as it did right here, see? Start new transaction, you're also in. Let's click on it. And it's going to take you to my transaction. Notice that you do have two loops to start. A loop, by the way, is a transaction. Loop is a transaction. This company is called Dot Loop. They decide to call a transaction a loop. The third way to go in is if you are on your eEdge dashboard. You're on eEdge dashboard. You will go to your contacts. And from here, if you are going to start a transaction for an, a specific client, what you do is you go to that client. At the very end, you see that dollar sign. That's for my transactions. Start my transaction. Click on it. And it will take you to the same dashboard for the client. It says create a loop for Elizabeth Castro. And it's going to fill in some information that you already have. Okay, let's go back to the home page. This will be the agent home. The agent home is just a little snapshot of everything that's going on today. Your recent loops, they will be here. Click on it and you have information about that loop. You also have a calendar. This calendar is, is, is intended for anything you want to be reminded of or you have it on your calendar that has anything to do with the transactions so if you have an inspection that is due next wednesday you add it as a task you title it inspection for such address a little description of it just to remind you you will put the date and the time you also can associate it with the client that made that offer here Remember that when we signed up for my transaction, they asked for a cell phone. They also asked for an email. So they are going to auto-populate here. If we were to check on send an SMS reminder, that's a text message, or send a reminder by email, you can have one, the other, or both. What's going to do is, whatever time you set to remind you, it's going to remind you by that set time. So let's say you have it for next Wednesday at 2 o'clock and you want it to be reminded two hours before, 
then it's going to remind you two hours before by sending you a text message or an email that you have something to do you can set it to four hours 12 hours a day whatever it is you save it and now you have a task you can have more than one task in any specific day there's no problem you cannot be at the same time you cannot you cannot be in two different places at the same time uh, let's go back home so we spoke about the recent loops we also spoke about the calendar on the right hand side we can search for our clients now to search for a client we can search by first name by last name or by email the easiest way would be by email because the email would be unique you may have more than one client with the same name or the same last name but if you do it's going to show you a list of clients that start with that name or the last name and you choose which one it is of course activity log the activity log is anything that you have done with a loop or a transaction you uh, added a an addendum you change something the price was changed whatever happened with that transaction is going to give you that activity here this is for all the transactions that you are involved with but if you do want it for the specific client or the specific address you go to that client you look for the transaction and the activity on that one transaction would be on that page instead of here which you know has more than one transaction so this would be for the home page let's go back home and I want to remind you that this button here that says home is for transactions. So anything under the red line is for my transaction. Anything above that would be for KW. So if we were to go out here and or click on home, it's going to take us to my KW home. So stay within under this red line. So this is home. A buying loop. It will show you all the loops that you're involved with. That Those are, uh, by the way, but buying is for an offer. So these will be all the offers. Listing loops, anything with your listings. Clients. Clients would be, would show you all the clients that you have. Now the clients, the transaction does not have a database for your clients. It uses the database in eEdge. Remember it is part of eEdge, so it uses the same database. So any client that you have in your eEdge contacts, it's going to be here. Okay messages easy enough then we have my account in my account you're going to be able to reset your password if you want account info all the stuff what we need to do here which is very important is my team if you go to my team you can invite all i mean you can add your team in the on this list very important to understand about my team is that when you add somebody to your team you are giving them permission to come in and you look at your transactions yet they do not you do not have permission to look at theirs because they have not given you permission so when you set them up on your team you are the one who is giving up privacy but they keep their privacy so again you add somebody to your team they have access to your transactions you do not have access to theirs now to have access they have to add you if you do not want them to look at your transaction because you are the team leader for example and you just want to keep your privacy but you need to look at their transactions then they need to add you to their team but you do not add them if you don't mind everybody looking at everything you add them they add you okay for if this is not very clear which is easy enough but if it's not you go to the bottom here you do have support and you call them they will explain it very very easy going back home you're gonna find my documents these documents are any documents that you use that are not in the forms that the office has the office has uploaded all the forms that you usually find in my transactions or my, I'm sorry my transaction desk or uh, form simplicity for example these are any personal document that you use all the time uh, as an addendum or whatever document you use the office may have some document that they wanted to use for example we have here the affiliated business arrangement disclosure that is the affiliation that we have with our title company we have to disclose it to the client so we have it here landlord tenant act we have one that the office has instead of the one from the from the uh, state 
so we use that one the brokerage may have one okay w wants us to use or this brokerage office wants us to use a specific form we can have it here and then we can add all the forms will be in pdf you cannot upload a word document or a png or anything like that it has to be pdf okay uh, additional loops actually let me go back to this later blank forms over here you will have all the forms that the office would have uploaded for you to use these are the regular contracts uh, that you use in your market center they will be here for you to use broker dashboard you will not have it this would be for the broker or anybody that has access to the broker dashboard okay this will be the first section on my dot loop I will cover the additional loops or the loops in the next section this is Kamal Salim with Color Williams in Western Florida. Thank you.